Two years ago, brands were measuring ad performance in real time. Customer interactions with their ads and offers were measured as they happened. An iOS conversion at that time would attribute to media in under 120 milliseconds at the row level anywhere on the planet. Today, SCAD, the StoreKit ad network, delays the answer for at least 36 hours, and the results are only reported once a certain number of conversions have occurred. One could argue brands have lost that direct connection with their customers the smartphones once gave them because the platforms have obfuscated that connection. Who has direct connection with the customer now? Not brand advertisers. In our last ad tech trends, we looked at the change in attribution sources over the previous couple of years. You can check that in the video here in our channel. Here's a review of that chart. So you can see the reduction of the IDFA, or deterministic attribution, and attribution to self-attributing networks, or SANS, and the enormous growth of iOS via the SCAD network, and more importantly, Apple search ads. Let's start with the US market and break down iOS attribution and look at how that impacts you, the marketer. According to data from the most recent quarter, Apple as a publisher, an attributable source for your marketing dollars, accounted for roughly 67% of all iOS attribution in the US. Two years ago, that was only 12%. Let's look at how the marketing dollars have shifted. Here's an example of marketing mix for a streaming brand in 2021, looking at installs by network. You can see this brand was relying on a healthy mix of DSPs, owned and operated networks, and their own media. All in all, they were spending about 2.4 million a month running ads on 15 different networks. At the time, Apple Search accounted for about 44,000 of the spend, which is only about 2%. Here's the marketing mix of that same streaming brand today. This represents spend of about $850,000 exclusively on Apple Search and nowhere else. The rest of this is the brand's owned media. Apple Search Ads is blowing up. We're seeing brands increasing their cost per tap strategies and paying upwards of $30 per tap on their own brand terms on Apple Search Ads. But now let's take a more global perspective. While Apple has grown exponentially in the US, Android still owns the lion's share of attribution on the global market. Worldwide, Android is the operating system on about 73% of all devices. So we've looked at where things are attributing, now let's look at how, or the method by which attribution is coming in. From the bottom of this chart, you see that device is still a significant source at about 20%, and we see that probabilism is growing just a bit on the back of own media as brands try to get more out of their own data. Now here's an interesting segment, the refer sliver, which you can see is growing modestly. This is something most people aren't paying attention to, but there are some interesting rules, particularly in the Google Play Store. Using the old urchin tracking module parameters, the UTM parameters, from DoubleClick's Dart circa 1999, which largely describe how tracking happens within Chrome and Google Analytics, you can utilize UTM campaign source, medium, and creative tags. If you write something in on those tags to the Play Store and that app downloads, those parameters are written to the app binary the code that makes up the app download, and are available for your MMP to pick up. You can feed in, for example, a click ID and then pick up that same click ID on the back end and know it came from the same device. This is a huge opportunity for app developers to understand performance, so much so that the Huawei and Samsung Play Stores have each built this feature into their app stores as well. So UTM and refer tracking, huge opportunity. We started out looking at iOS in the US, but as we broaden our perspective, we see the SCAD network from Apple is responsible only for a small portion of attribution, which you can see at the very top of this chart. And while Apple as a publisher is growing, I think it's important to realize there are current opportunities to provide more visibility to your media using already accepted methods.